React Router got an upgrade. Angular release was a 19. CSS finally has its own logo. Hey everyone, brace yourself for dev news. Don't forget to subscribe. React Router version 7 got released and you might be aware that earlier remix the web framework merged with React Router. So this is a major release that brings the best of both the simplicity and flexibility of React Router and the powerful feature of Remix. React Router can still be used as a simple declarative routing library. Its only job will be matching the URL to a set of components providing access to URL data and navigating around the app. Now some of the key features are it brings framework feature like pending state, code splitting, server-side rendering, SEO optimization and reduces the page load times also simplified the routing mechanism uh, by using a declarative approach to routing giving a bit of more angular like feel angular version 19 got released this week and it is a significant upgrade that brings much needed performance improvement and modern development feature with a major focus on basically the server side rendering and state management now some of the key features are route level control and incremental hydration provides fine grain control over rendering and hydration which results in faster initial page load times and the improved SEO. Throughout the year, we have been hearing about Signal API's integration into Angular and how it will improve its state management. So finally, it's been integrated. The Signal API simplifies state management. Now with all the changes and new features, Angular 19 is back into the race of popular front-end framework. Tailwind CSS version 4.0 has been moved to beta and it is a significant release offering a more powerful, flexible and performant framework for building awesome UIs. It introduces a range of new features and also improve uh, and streamline the development workflows. Now some of the key features are like performance enhancement, the V4 engine is significantly faster and also uh, version 4 shift to a CSS first configuration approach allowing you to define your theme directly into your CSS file. Tailwind CSS also embraces modern CSS feature like container, queries, 3D transform, gradients, angle and like many more new features have been added. Versus ASDK version 4 is a significant release and it adds lots of new features to seamlessly integrate AI into Next.js and Solid projects. Now some of the key features are it expanded support for leading AI LLM models like uh, Anthropic and Google Generative AI and also the advanced features are like PDF analysis capabilities for Anthropic and Google Generative AI providers. After years without an official visual identity, CSS finally has a new logo. The power of CSS has grown from uh, simple styling to complex layouts, animation, and interactivity throughout the years and it's good to have a logo now. This was the dev news for this week and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon in a new video.